This is a tutorial about the sequencer of Subboom Base 2. The sequencer section has four sequencers available, being sequence A, B, C, and D. They can play back in different modes, but first let's explain the features of a single sequence. I selected the default preset and activated the sequencer by clicking on this button. You can also activate the sequencer in the play mode section. By default, sequence A is playing now. The way the sequencer is playing is selected in the play mode menu. On the left side you can see that if I change the play mode, for example from sequence A to sequence B, that the edit button also jumps to sequence B. This is the case for the single sequencer play modes A, B, C and D. In the other play mode, like Pattern for example, you can change the edit page, since in these other modes you can combine several sequences. Now let's start first explaining a single sequence, and for this I use a more finished preset to show you the features. In the default speed, which you can change here in this menu box, the step are 1 16th notes. We stick now to this default speed setting. In this bigger field you can edit the sequence. You can mute a step. You can tie a step. You can tune a step. This you can do by using your mouse or by double clicking to enter a value. Or by using the key entry button below. The key entry can be very handy. But keep in mind that you have to play the notes from the root key C3. It also takes over the velocity settings you play. So hit key entry and play the notes. Keep in mind that the Subboom Bass 2 sequencer is like a classic analog synthesizer sequencer from the 70s, but done with 64 steps. You can create a melody that repeats, but it doesn't adapt between major or minor. So if you like to be sure that the sequence is useful for all the chords in your music track, use only plus 7 semi, minus 5 semi, and octave semi settings. Settings of plus 2 and plus 4, if it fits the melody, you also could try. Of course, if your song is for example fully minor, then just add your melody sequence. You can add a velocity value per step. This works in conjunction with the velocity keyboard parameter on the right hand side. Let me explain. If this dial is fully turned to the left, the velocity value inside each step will be ruling over the synthesizer engine. Listen to how it works if you increase the velocity response in the filter and change each step its velocity setting. If the velocity key parameter is set fully to the right, the velocity setting inside each step are ignored and the velocity of the MIDI input, so your keyboard playing or the music program track playing, rules the synthesizer engine. Of 
course, you can mix in between as well. You can add a slide per step and the amount of the slides is controlled on the right hand side. The next two rows in this sequence are for selecting different waveforms inside of little 1 and 2. Each step can have a different waveform. Default a dash is appearing, meaning that the waveform is playing that has been selected in the oscillator section. If you hover over a step, a pop-up appears showing same as set, which indicates that the waveform selected in the oscillator is active on this step. For selecting a different waveform, you can open the menu or use the up and down inside each step. It is also possible to have the oscillator not playing on a given step and this can be done by setting it to off. Let's listen to this example preset using different waves in the sequencer. If you hover over a step, the used waveform is displayed in a pop-up box. The free row. In combination with the modulation matrix, you can use the free row to control other parameters of Subboom Base 2. But also the FX parameters, like in this example. In this example, the free row controls the FX mix. The last row is ratcheting. Several modes are available and if you activate ratcheting and set, for example, this step on value 2, this means that instead of playing one one sixteenth note on each step, it will play two one thirty twos note on this step. So it multiplies the notes played on a step. We offer different ratcheting modes and these modes are applied to all active sequences in the Subboom Base 2 preset. Keep in mind that some modes are not effective if you are in play mode pattern. The ratcheting velocity mode is in conjunction with the velocity ratcheting dial on the right hand side. This parameter sets the threshold when ratcheting becomes active. This mode is most effective if the velocity key parameter is set fully to the left, which means that the sequencer itself controls the velocity of the synthesizer engine and doesn't respond to the MIDI velocity input by the keyboard or music program. The MIDI velocity of the keyboard or music program can control this way the velocity ratcheting mode. In the top section there are additional features for each sequence A, B, C and D. Steps. This sets the number of steps inside the sequence, which means that sequence A, B, C and D can have each their own number of steps. Speed. This sets the speed of a sequence. This is available for each sequence A, B, C and D. If you use for example half speed, it means that each step becomes a one eighth note and if you use ratcheting with value 2, that it plays instead of one one eighth note, twice a one sixteenth note.
The speed setting can be different for each sequence, which can lead to interesting sequences if combined with the other sequences, using for instance the pattern mode. Then there are functions that apply for all these sequences A, B, C and D. Time mode. In special time mode, the tune, velocity, slide and free maintain their function. Listen. The toggle mode allows you to alternate between normal and special modes. Toggle 1 means that it plays first a sequence in special mode and the next time in normal mode. Please keep in mind that these toggle modes are also effective if the sequencer is in pattern playback mode. So if you use toggle 1 and playback a pattern, the first sequencer selected will play special and the second sequencer selected will play normal, and so on. Retrigger. With retrigger off and you play legato, the sequencer will continue to finish the sequencer also if you hit other notes. With retrigger on, if you hit another note, it always starts at step 1 again of the sequence. Lock. This feature locks the current sequencer and you can select another preset in the top section of Subboom Base 2. This can lead to interesting new presets. If you like the result, do select Set and then save the preset with a new name. Then there is on the right hand side the Step Length parameter. This allows you to shorten the note length of each step and this for sequence A, B, C and D at the same time. But the tie notes disappear if you use a value less than 100%. We advise to keep this parameter set to 100% and use the AMP Envelope Decay Sustain Release parameters to shorten the notes. On the right hand side is also the swing parameter. It applies to all sequences A, B, C and D. As mentioned, there are several play modes available, from playing a single sequencer up to pattern mode. The first option is playing a single sequence, being A, B, C or D. The following option is to split the keyboard. From node C1 up to node B2, play sequence A, And from note C3 onwards, it plays sequence B.
The following option is to split the keyboard in four zones, playing the four sequences. From node C1 up to node B1 plays sequence A. From node C2 up to node B2 plays sequence B. From node C3 up to node B3 plays sequence C. And from node C4 onwards it plays sequence D. Then there is Top Select. This means that with the keyboard nodes A5, A5, B5 and C6 you will select the sequences A, B, C or D. Then there is Pattern Play Mode. In its edit menu you can see that you can have a max of 16 steps of order in sequences playing. The number of steps can be adjusted. There's also a loop mode which means that after it played the last step, it starts again on the selected loop start step, which can be selected in the loop start menu box. Additionally, there is an option to semi-transpose the sequencer in the tune row and the option to adjust the overall volume of the playback sequence. While being in the pattern play mode, you still can edit the single sequences. The sequencer LED of the sequencer will start running if the sequence is played whilst being in the pattern play mode. Last but not least, there is a command menu with many handy features like resetting different sequencer rows, like the tune row, clearing a whole sequencer, copy a sequence, and even the option to save your sequencer that is selected to disk for loading it inside another Subboom Base 2 preset. Enjoy Subboom Base 2.